everybody. It is December 28th, 2023, uh, on this lovely Thursday. Yay, last podcast of the year. Okay, next time you say that, please don't say it like this. Yes. Hey, please, I, I, ooh, that makes me want to throw something at you. <laughs> kind of work with you when you're all, uh, you're, you're, you're speaking, um, yeah, it's the last post- uh, podcast of the year. We're going to take the next two weeks off, everybody. Uh, this is because most of the time I'm going to be tired from work. Okay. I got some things I got. I want to I want to focus on and get done at the, uh, and everything. So we are the third Thursday of the year. We will start our, our podcast back up. Yay. All right. Uh, today, first off, we're going to talk about what surprisingly we went to the movies on Tuesday, everybody, on the day after Christmas. Oh my gosh, it was busy. Um, went and saw. Uh, let's see, because what they got? Wish. They have Trolls Three was out and Migration, and then I know they had some kind of Lenny Kravitz concert that there was people were like watching. Mm-hmm. We went and saw Aquaman. Uh, fun fact: Godzilla was still uh, in theaters. Amazing. Yeah, because it was. It wasn't supposed to be. But two weeks. Yeah. So, like, I'm... And if you haven't seen it, folks, it's a good movie. Yeah, like, I... Just be prepared for the subtitles. Uh, as of right now, domestically, it has done $40 million, $980,999. Internationally, $35,330,519. For a worldwide total of uh, $76,311,518. I mean, that's not bad. A lot of people say, well, that's not much, but considering they made it on a shoestring. Yeah, guys, they made it on a $15 uh, million dollar budget. Literally uh, a shoestring. Right today, pocket change. Yeah, so, I mean, if it, if it keeps going the way it is, I mean, it, it get, could get close to 100 Yeah. Um, if this movie isn't canon... Ain't nothing can. But an old Godzilla fan, it just blew me away. Okay, um, yeah. Now, uh, let's see. I'm just checking something real quick. Okay, so uh, let's see. A couple of things that happened this week. Not really much uh, happening this week, everybody. This you kind know, of quiet. And that's a good thing because you know it's the Christmas holidays. It just passed. I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. I know we did over here. Safe Christmas. Yes, yes safe Christmas. Uh, not looking forward to the weekend that's coming up. Mm-hmm. If you guys don't know, it is New Year's weekend, and I. The, the, I don't mind Christmas weekend, but New Year's weekend I dread because... All the fools. Yeah, all the fools. I always have dreaded uh, New Year's weekend. Uh, anyway. Uh, Peter Cullen got a Lifetime Achievement Award. If you guys don't know who Peter Cullen is, he is the voice of Optimus Prime. That's what he's most... That was actually his first major role. Mm-hmm. Uh, and... You know, he, he he did it through the original series and then he revised Optimus Prime in the um in the movies. And you know, he he's the most uh, iconic Optimus Prime. I mean you do have the guy who did uh, Optimus Primal in Beast uh Beast Wars, who did Optimus Prime in the uh Cybertron trilogy uh animes. Oh uh, well she did a really good job. But when you say Optimus Prime, though, most people don't think Peter Cullen. Peter, yeah. Um, and the guy, now I will say the guy who did Optimus Prime and Transformers animated, uh, which came out right after the first movie came out, it wasn't bad. 
I actually thoroughly enjoyed the series, and he did it. He did a really good job. Now, excuse me. Uh, well, fun fun fact: Frank Welkler is the one who gave presented the award to him. Yeah. And if you guys don't know who Frank Welkler is, Frank Welkler is known for uh, Fred Jones and Scooby Doo. Uh, Slimer and Ray and the real Ghostbusters. Uh, he's done a whole bunch of stuff. One of his most famous roles besides um, Fred Jones, which was his first role, uh, was is Megatron. He is the original Megatron. Cool. So, to have him present the, uh, the award... To Peter Cullen was real nice. Yeah, he'd been around for a minute. Mm hmm. Those are two people I would love to have come to a convention. I ain't gonna lie to you. If I found out they were ever at Pop Cult Festival, you know for the fact we. <sighs> uh, I know somebody be standing in front of us. I know a couple of people stand. Uh, oh, come on. You know Stan from uh, the comic book shop would. Oh, yeah. He'd be there in a heartbeat. I'm talking about your mother. Oh yeah, because of yeah Scooby. Um, yeah, we had to buy VIP tickets that year. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Oh. So, now the movie we went and saw everybody we saw an IMAX 3D. Uh, we went and it saw. Was worth it. Yeah, we saw Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Now I know some pe uh, some people have probably given it some bad reviews because it's a DC film. Now I will say this: I thoroughly enjoyed the first Aquaman film. Uh, this was a sequel uh, to it. Uh, yes, Amber Heard's in it, or you know they got somebody else to stand in for her at one point. I know, but you know. I don't like Amber Her, but the Mirror character is very well uh, is a pivotal point in the series. Um, I will say the film was chopped up a little bit. I did hear that they took out some of the Amber Heard stuff because of what she did, and because of that, they had to rearrange it a little bit. Yeah, uh, that, that that's an unfortunate thing. I wouldn't mind a director's cut where they added some scenes in, but. The film overall, everybody's quite enjoyable. Yeah, it's quite enjoyable. Some people would complain and say, well, it's too, what's the word I'm looking for? Too predictable. Well, I mean, it's like a, it's a comic book type movie. I mean, it's supposed to be. Oh, yeah, no, it, it if was. You, a... If you couldn't follow it, you know, that, uh, Oh, there was no really deep meaning in it, everybody. Mm. Yes, there, there, there's a whole environmental thing on it, but that's something Aquaman has always been about, is, is the environment. Uh, and also, as well as the, um, the people of the sea and the people of the land need to start working together. Uh, uh, I, don't, I, I didn't mind that. It, it, it was a little environmentalist, but it, it didn't... They didn't hit you over the head with it. And it's like, okay, we're causing crap. You know, I was afraid it was going to get a little preachy, but it didn't get preachy. Does that make sense? Yes, that's why I said they didn't hit you over the head with it. Uh, they got your attention with it, which, you know, that, that was good. Oh, yeah, no, no, that that was definitely, definitely good in it. Um, the choreography on the fight scenes, everybody, was uh, spectacular. I have no no complaints on the choreography uh, at all. You could tell they were having too much fun in some spots. Yeah, and I think that's the one thing, though, is Jason Momoa really does... <sighs> Not over the top. I mean, th I mean, he puts his own flair on uh, Aquaman. But... I, th that's... But it worked. No, no, it, it, it worked, and that's fine. Uh... You can tell he's definitely a fun person to be around. 
Oh, yeah. And, oh, let's see. I'm trying to think. The pacing was a little, little off a little bit. You can tell they cut some scenes out. Uh, now, the one thing they did better than uh, the Marvels was, uh, you know, Black Manta was the, the villain of, of the story. You knew his reason for it. And the guy who did Black Manta did a good job. Oh, yeah. That's a good Manta. Oh, yeah. That's an oxymoron. But... So, like, if you get a chance to go see it, everybody, go see it. Like, it, it, it... It's a fun ride. Yeah, I mean, it's just a fun ride movie. It, it's nothing to sit there and be like, oh, it's not going to be life-changing or all anything else like Mr. that. Popcorn. Yeah, and that that's there is no no issue with that. Reason they call it entertainment. And there there's one scene that irked me, uh which I can understand the council. Oh gosh. Well, the council he was having to deal with. The council of houses and everything. We are not gonna allow all that to get yeah, that. The question that the council they weren't uh, all royals though, were they? No, 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 no. They were, just, they were council. No, they were nobles. No, and everything. Okay, not a royal. No, but they're the they're the houses that keep the crown in check. Yeah, well, I understand. But you know as well as I do. Usually, when you're dealing with nobles like that, it's what you gotta watch them. Right, because they're out for themselves. Yeah, they'll catch you. They'll catch you. So, I've watched enough programs to know that uh, in a heartbeat. Yeah, he was getting... He was getting aggravated with them. Well, to say the least. Like I said, you can't get anything done because of that council. Mm -hmm. Bunch of idiots. They don't know how the world works. Mm -mm. That's what I said, you know, why, why not... They try to keep it in their own little box. Well, it's like, you know, he sat there and said, you guys haven't experienced the world. I, I can experience both the, you know, the land and the sea. I see the problems of both, but I see the joy and beauty of both also. Which, you know, th that was a fair, valid point. And yeah, he's walking both sets of shoes. Right. I mean, everything leading up to the final, I mean, the, the, the setup on how they introduced the bad guy, Black Manta, and his powers is really uh, is really well done. They actually answer some questions from the, the previous movie. I don't know if you figured that out. Uh, yeah. Because uh, they, they only, they put a tidbit on it in the first movie, and in this one, that's why it's called The Lost Kingdom. And they talk about that, and the way it's done is just... Uh, had also a little bit, you know what? It had a little bit of a D and D feel to it. Come to think about, it, you're right. Yeah, I mean, dang, dang it felt like a D and D campaign. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a D and D, or you don't want to. You don't yeah, want to say. no, and I'm not going to spoil uh, it, but I'm like. Yeah, how about? Yeah, no, now, now that I think about it, yeah, that was a... I knew there was something about it, but I hadn't thought about that. That, that was a and d moment. campaign, uh, yeah. just the way it, w way it was moving and everything. So, uh... Put a little different spin on it. But, I mean, overall, it, it was good. I mean, I... Oh, yeah, 3D... Yeah, no, 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 that, that really was. And yes, everybody, they gave Aquaman his seahorse. I know that was a joke and everything, but, you know. Oh, I'd love to hear behind the scenes how they joked about that. Uh -huh. Spoiler alert, everybody, the seahorse can glow. Bioilluminescent, that's the word I was looking for. Fishes that do that and crustaceans that do that. Oh, I know. I know. 3,000 foot deep sea creatures that glow in the dark. 
For real? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Well, while I'm thinking about it, let's look up. So, Aquaman costs two hundred and five million to make. Two hundred five. Two hundred five. Domestically, it's only made thirty-eight uh, million three hundred thousand. So far. Internationally, eighty million two hundred thousand for a worldwide total of one hundred eighteen million five hundred thousand. All right, broke the halfway mark. So, I think it will at least break even. Yeah. You know, I know Jason Moe was kind of said he's he's done with DC after this. He said don't expect an Aquaman three. Uh, the only reason why I can sit them seeing that is because the way DC has been handling their movies lately. Uh, I mean they, they got they done doing more than shoot themselves and put that big cut their feet off. Yeah, and well, there's also like a whole ton of projects that have been scrapped and everything. They're not even releasing them on streaming services. Yeah. Uh, put them in a can and put them in a back. Yeah. Put them in a closet. Do you know there was supposed to be a Pep, Pepe Le Pew movie? Really? Yeah. Uh, there was also supposed to be a movie called Acne. Huh. No, Coyote and Acne. It was supposed to be a, a Roadrunner, a Wile E. Coyote movie dealing with the Acme Corporation. And from what that could I... could be hilarious. And from what I've seen of it, you know, it had live action people in it, but from what I've seen of it, it actually looked good. Uh, That's two properties right there that everybody loves. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and I'm not talking about the Batgirl debacle oh, or anything uh, 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 of all that. You know, that's like nobody got paid for that film. No, the filming was done. All the actors and pe people behind the scenes got paid. It was just, you know. They put it in the can and put it in the closet. Well, no, they, they, they wrote it off as a tax write-off. Um, DC has been, I'm sorry, they've been debacling it, you know. That's why you know, I, I think I, the only film I'm really, really worried about is the sequel to The Batman. Yeah. And I'm going to be highly pissed off if Warner Brothers... Screws that up. Yeah, screws that up. Because that movie, everybody was so good. It does not need, it needs to be its own thing. If you introduce Superman in it... That's fine, but do not let it be, you know, let it be its own Superman. Yeah. Uh, don't let James Gunn get a hold of it either. What? No, 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 no. Because James Gunn's building his own universe, and that was the Flash. It was supposed to be the start of everything. I'm sitting there like, yeah, after I heard the reviews of Flash, I was like, there was some horrible CGI. Uh... There's some things I found out they did in poor taste. So. Uh, let's see. Can't think, uh, can you think of anything going on right now? No, everything's been quiet. Yeah, I know. I know there's no another Kung Fu uh, Panda film coming out. Uh, not really. I'll, I'll watch that when it comes on. Uh. Yeah, I mean, there, there hasn't been really much uh, going on. Well, well, one thing that has started back up. What? Go ahead. Marvel Universe, and that's the uh, What uh, If series. Oh, yeah, the What If series started back up. Uh, I think it started on, like, on the 20th or something. Yeah. Uh, and it's supposed to be, like, they're releasing every episode, like, one day after another. So, and we'll start on that here soon, everybody, because, you know, it's, like, nine weeks of us trying to watch stuff. The first round of what is was really good. We watched those last two like back to back though. Mm -hmm. We usually do that. We usually watch the last two, especially if they're like part one, part two. Mm -hmm. But the uh, that'll be interesting. And Echo starts up soon, which is their new Disney live action Marvel Plus series. Critique it. Oh yeah, well, I think let's see, we're we're about done with some of our other stuff, so mm -hmm. we can get on our backlog stuff mm -hmm. soon. Backlog is not as bad as it has been.
It has memoirs. Mm-hmm. They start back up on Naruto and Bleach this year. Yay! All 700 episodes of Naruto. Actually, it's over 400 because we've already watched the, the first series. What? You, 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 you keep rubbing it in. What? Well, you keep, well, let's wait. Let's get everything else caught back up. And then we'll. Uh, you keep pushing it back every year. And then we're going to get on with this show for next year. Push it back. Push it back. Okay, I was about to sit there and say, do you mean 2025? No. 2024. It's still 23. <coughs> I know, I know. Just barely, but it is. Got to finish Transformers, too. Mm hmm. I mean, Transformers, I mean, we finished the first season. We're partially through the second season. Mm-hmm. But the good thing about that is you can just pick it up and watch it. I mean, mm. it's... Now, the only... um, Oh, crud. Yeah, you want to start on what? Yeah, we got to get started on the Star Wars stuff. On oh, what? Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. We got a lot of stuff we got to get caught up on. Uh, let's see. So everyone, th- this year we had some ups and downs on the podcast. We're going to try to do this next year. Be more consistent. Yeah. 23 has not been a good year for us. No, no, like, no, that's, that's all we're going to say on that one. Uh, yeah, that's all we're going to say. We hope our 24 will be better and. If 23 was good for you, that's good. Now we just hope 24 is even better than 23 for you. Yep. So, that's all I got. Yeah, if you don't hear anything, let us know. Yeah, we do have Sometimes a... we, we get out of the loop because we don't have access to the loop. Like some folks do in certain markets. Yeah, and I gotta, re- I gotta look up some of the stuff from our other team member. Uh, Justin, he, he sends us links sends me links for us to uh to look through and I know Sega's got some stuff coming down the pipeline this year uh so yeah he's the one that let me know about E3 mm-hmm. so And with New Year's coming up, y'all know the drill. Don't do anything stupid like dr- drink and drive. No, don't drink drive, everybody. Call a friend, uh, call a family member, call an Uber stupid. and everything. You know. It's not worth getting yourself hurt or somebody else. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this be, this be safe, everybody, through... Um, next week this next week with that said everybody have a wonderful rest of your uh of your year we will see you in three weeks well one two, yeah three weeks see you in 24 see you in 24 everybody with that said we're out